Yes, yeah, sir. Big Sweet checking in, trapping out the trap house. You know what's going on, right, man? Look, I told y'all I'm always in tune with what's going on in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. And these girls been getting people boots off. They like superheroes. Spider women. Spider women's in the building. The boot girls in the building. What's up, ladies? What's happening? So tell me how the hell did this even start? <laughs> so I went over Boo Baby house one day, and she, well... You call her Boo Baby? Yeah. Okay. And she had... She got. She lived in this complex, different type of complex. I lived in reg, I lived in the regular apartments at the time. Uh-huh. So they do boots there. So I, you know, I registered my car, but I didn't know for exactly how many hours. I ended up staying the night, and they booted my car. Mm. So pissed you off? Yes, pissed me off. Yes, but um, they always boot at the last minute too. They 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 like. See, I'm glad y'all started this, and I want to hear this story still because I just remember like. Like boot people back in the day when uh one and Goodfellas was open up on that one way street, you just sit out there and just wait for people to even just run in to go get some food real quick and come back out and slap a boot on your your car and now I gotta pay seventy five dollars <laughs> for just going to get a ten dollar pizza. Oh yeah, they're yeah. shy. No, I ain't doing that. So mm-hmm. so what happened at the complex? Well yeah, we was there and everything and they booted me so I got up and everything and I was like dang. So we had to figure out something and I waited for hours like I waited hours for them to come. You know I was just trying to get it off. Mm-hmm. I'm like I'm trying to get my day the started. Way. Yeah, the regular way. And she was like, so you, know, gonna, you was going to pay them their yeah, price? Yeah, I was going to pay them their price. Okay. But they took so long. It was so many hours I waited. It was probably like going on three hours. And I was, she was like, you know, I know somebody. I was like, okay, bet. As long as they don't fall back on me, so I'm good. So we called them and everything, and they ended up coming to take out the boot. So, and at this point, the boot man still hadn't came yet. Yeah, he hadn't came yet. Mm-hmm. So he, you got a boot on your car, and you just stranded, mm-hmm. basically, mm-hmm. which is dangerous because you are a woman, a black yes, woman. Yes, definitely. So. I'm glad it was night. Mm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I was stranded and everything. So we came, he came, took it right off, and it was way cheaper. Forty dollars. Mm. Forty. Yes. And then what happened? What, what was the next step? Uh what happened then? Oh yeah, yeah. He, he um, Go ahead. <laughs> he left, but then he like texted us and then he was like, Hey, I got an extra key if you want it. Cause when I first met him, I was always like, Let me get that key. Mm. But he wasn't trying to give it to me. So I guess when he ended up getting extra, he ended up offering it. And we bought it, and we went half with it. And then, ever since then, we just got cars, and we just started putting it on people's cars. Mm. So how is business booming now? Like, do y'all really, y'all phone lines really be blowing up? Oh, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. This is crazy. So what does the family members think of this? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just, just family, just, what do they think? They, the people that do know who y'all are. They like it, but they're also scared. You know, they like, be careful. Just be careful. They be seeing all the stuff we be going through, and they be like, just be careful. Yeah. Like, you know, it's all funny, and it's nice and everything, but just be careful at the end of the day. That's family, you know, so they always worry. So do you do you feel like, like sometimes you've been in a situation where it could have got a little dangerous? Oh, yeah. You want to mm-hmm. elaborate? What what happened? Yeah, like, uh, I mean, a few times, like this one time, times. like the most recent time, this man <laughs> trapped us, and it was like a one-way in, one-way out little-ass socks on? <laughs> one guy, I seen, I seen it was some, you like, like, get him. your hands off me, you a whole grown man. No, not even oh, him, no. not okay. even, not even talking about him. <laughs> he was the first, like, I don't trust no man with a little ass baby socks on. No, nah, he oh, was one of the first socks? ones. No, they was, more, they was less than ankles. <laughs> <laughs> they was below the ankles. You can't trust no man with below the ankle socks on. So what happened then? But um, the most recent one was he had trapped us. We was one way in, one way out. We didn't really think about it. You know, we just trying to get in and get out. So we try to get as close to the boo as possible and then get out. But... We pulled all the way in, and he trapped us right like after we pulled in and everything, so we couldn't even pull back out. And so we, we didn't even, even do anything. anything. Yeah, we didn't even do anything. We so, didn't even end up doing. So, so did he know who y'all were when y'all pulled up? Y'all got a car. Y'all don't got no boot car. Nothing. Y'all got an undercover car. We no, take we different cars every time. Car. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, yeah, we take different. But they see that mask, and they be like, yeah, "Oh, there the they go." Mm-hmm. It's like Gotham City. Yeah, yeah, that's how he came in too. So For real. Yeah, like with his phone out, like, what do y'all like? Just aggressively, like, look, this shit's still on. We just had to go. He like, nah, we're going to wait till the police get here. I'm uh. But you can't legally get arrested for this. This is what I've been seeing. Um, the police came, and we did not get arrested, so he did all that for nothing. Yes. So what did the police end up saying? He should mind his business. Mm. Mm. So everybody's pretty much cheering for this. And I'm seeing that really, like, now that um, I'm just seeing, like, different government officials are trying to, like, ban boots as a, as a whole. Because mm-hmm. they feel like now that people are getting yeah, taken advantage whole, of. Yeah, there's a whole signing on it for banning the boot, yes. Mm. Mm-hmm. So do you see, like, do you see, like, meet different people, like, in this, of course, different walks of life that might not necessarily be able to afford it? I seen my boy Christian talking, like, on TV, like, a lot of people might not be able to afford a $75 boot. Like, what if you just paid all your bills and the one thing you're trying to do is go get your kid because you ran into your, whoever house you ran into, and you just slap a boot on somebody's car? I mean... I got y'all ran into like different people that really just can't afford it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We ran into yeah, we ran into one person. They only had like what, 
But they had like forty dollars. Only forty dollars. And well, I was like, yeah, that's sure. That's that's cool. We understand. Yeah. You know, she she looked like. And then we got there, we observed the situation, and it looked a little. You know, her car. You feel me? I don't want to get too in detail, but people got different situations. Mm. You know. Yeah. So, so do y'all ever worry? Do y'all, do y'all, I mean, are y'all ever worried about any of the boot people kind of reacting to y'all differently and them having a bad day and maybe trying to swing on y'all or something like that? Well, does it never ever cross your mind? Yeah, it always crosses our mind. That's we always, I mean, we every time we get there, you know, it was fun, but to a certain extent, some places we go to are very hot with people. And boot yeah, and we everything. try to stay away from certain places because we know who's going to be over there. So y'all really know got a got a whole map of the city where the where the bad boot people be at. Like oh, yeah. the ones yeah. that really like be aggressive, like. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. It's just crazy. Well, what's your Instagram? And how much y'all charge? It's boot girls and buckhead. No underscore, nothing, just straight boot girls and buckhead. That's Do y'all go any other places and than Buckhead? Of course. $50. Midtown. Well, we could, yeah, midtown sometimes. So just mm-hmm. basically that's y'all hood, that's y'all area. Yeah, just Atlanta. Okay. I ain't mad, man. It's been I'm a kind of fifty dollars though. Fifty bucks? <laughs> yeah. Is there a number to call? Um, it's in our Instagram bio. Mm-hmm. Okay, so just go to Instagram. Yes. And boo girls a bucket. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Welcome to Atlanta. Got some city, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Trapping out the trap house, man. You know what's going on. Big Stewie checking in. Hey, support these girls. Hey, go to their Instagram right now. Let them know Instagram one more time. Yeah, boo girls and bucket. You already know. Follow, like, comment, all that. There no it is, underscore. man. No underscore. No underscore. That's the scam page. No. They're going to scam this, y'all. <laughs> yeah, if it's a cash out with city girls, that's not us either. They're going to scam y'all. Come on now. Mm-hmm. This is going down. Boo girls and bucket, man. It's Hot 179. Big Stewie, yes, Lord.